Fellow Seleucids, welcome back to the Seleucid campaign on Rome 2. That's right, we're going to make this a definitive one. And so far, I have to say, it feels like for me that it is, and you all are making this definitive on your end too, and I'll explain that in just a moment. Um, last time, we left off at war with the Kush, and it is quite a war that we had going on with them. There's going to be more to come, so Hannibal's going to continue to push against the Kush. Push the Kush? <laughs> I like it. Um, and then our new army here, Pericles Pride. I think this is kind of ironic name for an army because once upon a time, I made a fake commercial on, I, I want to say it was Rome, maybe Rome 1, called Pericles Peasants, and it was like a commercial for a peasant store. Anyway, so uh, he's going to have to go after Gerha, uh, Gerhia, and then Antiochus is fighting in Asia Minor uh, to recover all the Seleucid glory there. Now... I said I would revisit what I said in a moment. You guys are absolutely killing this. So I want to thank every one of you who is viewing this and participating. I have asked for your help the last couple of episodes, and it has been absolutely amazing. And I want you to know that my views on my whole channel are jumping because of what you're doing. The views on these videos are jumping because of what you're doing. We're up over 50% on views from recommendations just because you all take the time hit the like button and comment when you're watching this. And I can tell that a whole bunch of you want this to be successful. And I really appreciate that. And I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a bargain here with you all. Um, because I'm only doing one historical campaign at a time. And you all seem to be really excited about me doing this one in Rome too. If you all continue to make this successful. And you continue to help me, you know, drive this up. I will absolutely turn around and play another Rome 2 campaign with you all. Um, you know, or something like a big West Rome campaign in Attila, or whatever you all want to do after this, right? You help me make this successful, and absolutely, I will turn around and repay you all the best I can with even more of this. And I, again, just really appreciate the outpouring of support you have showed me here. It means a lot. And it, it's kind of cool because it also goes along with the nostalgia <laughs> that I feel for this game. And so it's really fun to be back here. And to feel that nostalgia and to see you all thoroughly enjoying the game. And I am too. I am having so much fun um, recording this. So again, um, would love to, to have you all continue to support me. If you feel like this is worth it, please take the time to leave a comment. I'm a little behind on responding to them, but I will respond to all of them. So hang tight and I will respond to every single comment you all put. I think we almost had 200 in the last episode, which is absolutely stupendous. So thank you again. All right, let's end our turn and continue the action here. Now, we had some, some really nice tips, I think, come in from folks in the comments. Um, some of you are pointing out that the Temple to Poseidon gives extra hull strength to our fleet. Unfortunately, I've already been... Um, look at this, they're already suing us for peace. Not going to happen. Um, I, I've already started recruiting ships without it in Antioch, but we could go ahead and put one in, I think, in Alexandria and in uh, Antioch so that in the future when we're you know, recruiting ships in these places will have better holes. So I thought that was a very nice call out. I continue to get a lot of suggestions about where you all want to see Hannibal fight. And we've had some pretty good ones. Um, I'll show you just here real quick to the strategic overview. I think what we're going to do is this with Hannibal. Like I'm going to clean up Egypt. And then I thought it would be fun to make a hop over here into Greece. It looks like Athens is taking over Macedonia and to fight the Greeks. And then I was thinking about bouncing over to North Africa. Hannibal gets revenge if Carthage is still here. And then he bounces into Sicily. And rather than coming into Italy from the north like he did last time, he comes into Italy from the south after subduing his former home city and bringing them fully under his control too. And, that, and that's a bit of his revenge for them not properly supporting him. I love his snowing in the Nile too. <laughs> Gotta love some snow in the Nile. Does that ever happen, by the way? I mean, surely not. Maybe. I don't know. I'd be, I'd be curious. Now, now I am really curious. So let's let's actually go ahead and spend some of our cash to switch this over to the uh, Temple of Poseidon. Um, to level up our ship holes. So nice suggestion there, by the way. And then let's... Uh, I, I wanted to turn this area into a bread basket. And I'm absolutely going to do that. Um, now, I did have a food issue on the last episode, but it was partly because of some seasonal effects that hit some different ones. So appreciate that comment where the, the person was helping me understand that that was just a seasonal effect that came through. So very much appreciate that. There's some Celtic rebels outside in Kara here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, chase them off Antiochus. And uh, we can't auto-resolve because we know that it's going to kill all of our elephants. So that's one of the downsides 
of having elephants. Can we auto resolve? I mean, ugh. Watch. Okay, look how clean this auto resolve should be, right? I'll even go on a protective stance. Let's see how many elephants we lost as a result of this. Too many. <laughs> we lost a few in that one. Piece of crap. Uh, I need to fight every one of these on my own. That's really just the only like, decent way to solve this, is to just fight every single battle individually if I have to, and don't record it if I feel like I don't want to waste the whole time me dealing with battles like that. So I'll have to consider that. Um, it's not a big deal. It just means it's going to take me longer to record, and that does kind of stink. Like, it's not the end of the world, but um, it, it does kind of stink. I'm going to garrison here and put a little more public order in place. Uh, we've got some buildings being put together here, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's take a look here. Jerusalem, we can get more olive oil to trade. And that's more food as well. Like we should build that. Our income's gone down a little because of the recruiting we're doing for the Navy and other things, which is fine. That's expected. I'm not I'm not shocked. Let's grab another um, Royal Peltest ship. So that would give us four. Let's go ahead and get five Royal Peltest ships um, at this point. Um, that'll be a really potent infantry force that we can use to attack. Um underprotected port settlements and take them for our own, like like maybe if we can catch roads or some other place unawares. Uh, we've definitely got some Persian hoplites a little bit thrashed here, and it's going to take me a while to replenish them. Makes me wonder if I should just merge and re-recruit. I kind of feel like we should rather than wait around for these units. Just put a merge to all of these. And so that leaves me with two units needed. And let's... um. I don't even know if we need the Hillmen, like, they're not that great. I think I'm just going to disband them. Oh, I don't have a ton of money, though, right now. We're going to have to cancel. Let's cancel. I need to cancel some stuff. I'm not in as big a hurry for the fleet, so let's cancel the fleet for this turn. I'll leave my buildings going. Um, the Hillmen are just, I mean, they're okay, they have a little bit of AP damage and a Javelin, but I'm gonna go ahead and probably just replace them with Persian Hoplites. I could get more Peltist, I would probably just do that, um, to replace the Hillmen. But, I can't get the actual Peltist, I can see if we have access to any Mercenary Peltist. Do not. I could get some Leopard Warriors, though, that'd be kind of fun. Egyptian infantry is kind of trashy. The uh, Leopard Warriors are a really high attack spear unit here with a very nice bonus versus large. Their armor is somewhat low, but they have good morale. Um, so this could be a fun... Actually, it's very high upkeep. I don't know if it's worth it for that type of upkeep. I don't know, it might be a good anti-cavalry unit, but I mean, we've already got all the Persian hoplites, so I'm not particularly worried about it. I think I'm just going to... I don't think I'm going to put any more mercenaries in because they cost too much at the moment. I'll, I'll just grab two more hillmen, just in case we'd rather have the hillmen doing what we want here. Um, we could merge these two units and then ditch that version mercenary cab and then grab another one. So now Hannibal's army will be at full strength headed into next turn. And we can push further into Kush territory. Um, so we need to hit both these places to take the entire province of Egyptus. Um, let's go take a look at our political situation. It's not my favorite place to spend time. I appreciate those who have been trying to give me tips here. Please continue to do so and help me out. I'll open the screen and we'll take a look at it every time. If we look here at the party statistics, um, the loyalty is bad. It wasn't this bad um, previously, but it certainly seems bad now. So I feel like we need to be securing the loyalty. Negotiate with party leaders to secure their loyalty. You cannot afford this action. Okay, so on the next turn, we need to negotiate to secure a little more loyalty because it's getting a little bit out of control with some of these factions. Um, so let's go ahead and end our turn here. Gosh. Not much moving around for Kush. They could jump across the Red Sea 
try and attack my territory there. That would be annoying. I hope they don't do that, but they very well might. All the wars to our east. Ever a nuisance, but not an immediate threat to us. Alright, so we could do some pirate hunting. Let's do hunted pirates. Failed to raise an army. Yeah, well, I don't really want to raise an army at Iconum, so... I did fail. Alright, I'm going to move south with Hannibal and prepare the next attack. I think Antiochus is probably getting close to being well suited enough to finish the Galatians unless they have a rather sizable force out here, and they might. They might. Have to finish a bunch of buildings at Ankyra. Um, let's get into our politics situation and see if we can fix up some of the loyalty here. Uh, plus 10 loyalty for target party for 5 turns, so let's see if we can secure some loyalty there. Negotiations were a success. Let's do the same thing here with the Parthian families. Okay. Alright. Hopefully that will help. Hopefully that will help. And like I said, if you all have comments on other things you think I should be doing, let me know. I will try to do it um, as best I can. Textiles for trade would be good. Let's, um, let's wait it out. I'm going to go ahead and put a little more navy here. This navy could come in very handy in a war where we have a lot of uh, coastal fighting. I'm going to go ahead and grab one more light terrace there with the archers. This will chew up some of my income, but it's okay. We've got plenty. Um, oh, yep, there were two Galatian armies there. They have attacked me, which I would prefer doing things this way. They have a lot of slingers. They have eight slinger units. They could certainly sit back and try and kill me from range. Any attempt to attack my pikes um, will be a failure for them. Let's go ahead and fight this. Try and gain more glory for our king. The Battle of Galatia. It is the Battle of Galatia. They have a noble spear general, it looks like. I don't remember if that's the exact name of it, but a heavy spear general. Some kind of specialty spear unit. This army needs to be improved. It is not good enough, but it is better once we grab the mercenaries. And I have just a very small hillman contingent. The Thurio spears are still one of our better units. The flanks, and then again, I'm going to stack both Peltist on this flank over here to do a little light skirmishing and, and melee combat. Put our archers up front. I'm going to put them in guard mode. I'm going to do the same thing with my Peltist. I'm going to switch over to guard mode. And I've got my heavy cavalry and elephants that we can stack on each flank as well. Alright. We'll probably want to go get engaged. I have superior firepower from range, but they have superior numbers. So it would be best if we could go engage um, this army in a skirmish prior to their reinforcements being ready. I'm going to fast forward as my troops run forward in formation. Uh, the, I was going to say the Celts. They are kind of Celts. The, um, the Galatians are moving towards me. That is actually good. That's what I want. I might, I might try to get a whistle shot off at the last second. Right before the Galatians engage me, see if that helps impact their melee capabilities a little. Take aim, Commander. Double time. Awaiting order. Go ahead and start wrapping up the flanks a little. Let's get a whistle shot off real quick, and then I'm gonna retreat. Oh, I didn't quite get the whistle shot off. That's okay. Fall back. Okay, so our archers have fallen back. Alright. I need my... 
I'm gonna use my Peltus to help jack up that enemy commander a little. Thurio Spears. I'm gonna try and kind of jab one kite these guys a little. The men are wavering. Yeah, that hillman's in over their head, but it's okay. Spread out. Let's get some more damage. Oh crap! No, no, no. Run back! Run back! Run back! This is not gonna work. Run back. Guys, uh, right here, we got rear charges available to us and good ones. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Try and crush these slingers real quick. Yeah, so I'm gonna fall back on this flank. That was no longer gonna be a good position for me. Right, we're gonna crush these Celtic slingers. Archers target their general. And now it's time for a rear charge. Successfully secured that flank. All right, our Peltus did a good job luring in the enemy here. And now we can take our elephants. Right. One of our units has gone berserk. Oh crap! One of my elephants berserk. We must have gotten hit by a javelin volley. That is not good. Come on, elephants. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. And we gotta be careful. Alright. And yeah, we can't afford to take javelin volleys to the face like that. I'm gonna lose my Thurial Spears. That should be okay. My elephants are still berserking, unfortunately. Come on, elephants. Oh, they took another javelin volley. They're going to take some damage there and keep berserking. That's not good. All right, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a setback for us. Elephants are berserking all over our own troops. Oh my gosh, we're just under heavy fire over here. Try and go chase these guys down. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Gosh, quit berserking already. Try and get around the flank over here. Come on, elephants. Get them out of here. Alright, their lord may break through us on this other side. I really need my elephants to quit berserking. Like, this is... It is very bad for me. Alright, elephants quit berserking. Uh, now my general's gone berserk, unfortunately. I'm gonna put a quick charge on these Levy Freeman. My general should be okay as long as he can get out of range of some of these slingers. Guess at least they're berserking where I need them to. This has not been as clean of a fight as it should have been for us. My pikes are getting a little worn down too, so this, this could get very dicey. I'm gonna try and go for an elephant trampling here. And just like trample straight through their lines, like straight across. Try and just berserk right through these units. I'm putting a whole bunch of shots on their general. We definitely got some damage done. And then the Galatian noblemen are shattered. Our Peltus actually did a pretty admirable job. Right here, and charge it in. Oh, crap. We just got hit by a javelin volley again. Alright, let's get rid of these slingers over here. Elephants, get away. Get away before we get another javelin volley to the face. Get out of there. Get out of there. I've started to run out of ammo with my Persian archers. Woo! This is a bloody fight. No! Why would it go berserk? Alright, that is bad news. That is bad news. There's still another Galatian nobleman over here, and I'm very low on ammunition. Let's 
Stop berserking, elephants, come on! One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yeah, my archers are starting to run out of ammunition. I gotta help this get back. My lord. I'm pick these units off. Ooh, a gruesome battle. <laughs> Absolutely gruesome. I love it, though. I didn't get my generals killed. And we're gonna win. I'll take it. Take that strength to the bank. Alright, the uh, Galatian nobleman is about to rout. As soon as it does, I'm going to... I'm gonna farm it for some uh, hit points here. Or farm it for some experience points, I should say. Having a cavalry clean up a noble unit of spears should be pretty productive. Well, we're gonna have to sit back and replenish a little, which means that the um, Galatians will honestly probably get all their troops back as quickly or quicker than I do. So that's a little unfortunate. All right, how much did we crump that? Oh yeah, we're getting a lot of kills. The enemy is there goes the dead. general. I probably shouldn't have killed the general because he's just gonna come back. The new unit. Nevertheless, it was a victory. And a pretty firm one. So let's quit the battle. I say pretty firm. We were outnumbered by a lot, and we had some unfortunate mishaps occur there, like my elephants trampling into their own men. Uh, on different occasions, partly because I would leave them in a combat for too long, and when when Levy Freeman charge, they get that javelin discharge, and it's very dangerous to elephants. It's one of the few things that these armies can really do to stop my elephants. Now, all things considered, we came away with most of our units intact, so and we're gonna pick up a very nice. Actually, I think I'm gonna kill the captives. That way, they won't have as much to go replenish. So hopefully that'll leave them hurt. They'll just go start redoing some of their trash. The Kush are really wanting a peace tree. They're offering me big money for it. So they must have really taken a shellacking from Hannibal. Let's see. So we finished research. We had an edict canceled in Mesopotamia because this was captured by Partheva. Uh, Media is sending some troops to that region, so hopefully we can get some allies. Persia is here. I have a lot of friendly armies to me back here. Persia's got people on the march. Possibly against Partheva, so hopefully things will go okay. I mean, I could send this army over there to help, but it's not really what I want this army to do. I want to go ahead and move against Gerhaya, or Gerhaya. But um, something tells me we're actually probably going to need more troops to fight against them, because they have a walled settlement. All I have is levies and stuff, and I just... Oh, I don't have great troops here. He's... Mercenary Persian archers would make a big difference. Wouldn't hurt to have some heavy cavalry as well. Still not a tough army, but it's an army that can get the job done uh, in the right situations. And here comes Hannibal. Easy conquering. Killed a bunch of cavalry and elephants, like usual. I bet there's a mod out there that fixes this. I should just go look for the mod. <laughs> I don't want the mod to make it, like, too easy for me to win auto-resolves, but I do want a mod that, like, makes it where they don't just kill all of my... Tear this down. Uh, where they don't just kill all of my uh, units in an auto-resolve, because that's utterly ridiculous. Right, we're definitely building up this uh, bread basket at Memphis. Let's go take a look at the situation. Um, oh, we can upgrade these units. Level 1 weapons. Nice. What's it going to cost me to do it for all these units? 
1600. Let's do it. Alright, so we've got level 1 weapons. We are not replenishing at the moment, so I'll probably want to retreat. There could be some seasonal effects, though, keeping us from replenishing, and it looks like that is the case. Um, we could try and look at the seasonal effects. Yeah. Scorching hot summer again. It's hot Seleucid summer. In case anybody was wondering. Um, we finished our Hellenization. So now we can build the uh, Hoplite Barracks. This would give us Light Peltist capability. Light Peltist are cool units. Um, let's take a look at other stuff. We want cavalry, so we're going to need the Satrap Stables. Let's go ahead and do that research. And we've taken a little bit of a hit to income... I imagine that'll change over the next few turns. Possible, though. I do kind of want to go ahead and build this barracks here. This iron workshop's going to be handy, too, because it'll help us up upgrade weapons. Hannibal's army at some point, too. Right, let's go ahead and end our turn. We're going to need some more cash in the treasury. Oh, Hannibal has skill points. Let's see here. I want medium siege engines. And pick up another retainer here. Extra public order in the province we're at. And this one takes away corruption too, which is handy. Authority when general research. Morale for all units. It's five. Why does that show it as like a... Oh, plus five corruption. Okay, this guy, it's minus five. Plus two public order, plus 10% tariff income while tra with uh, trade agreements. Now, that's actually pretty cool. 10% extra trade faction-wide would be kind of nice. Then we can upgrade to the top-level strategists. We cannot do tactician yet, which would give us a lot more extra campaign movement. So let's do the top-level strategist. He's got plus three cunning. So I feel like that suits Hannibal well. Right now we should be... Oh, no, we can issue an edict. Did we recapture Mesopotamia? No. Oh, but we can issue that edict somewhere else. And we could put it back here in Syria. Um, Syria doesn't really need bread and games. We got loyalty. This tax rate would probably be good, because I'll bet Syria is making the most cash. Could be wrong, though, but I'll bet you it is. Yeah, so that would give us an extra 400 cash. With that edict, or no, more than that, or yeah, more than that because it's 15%. So it'll be about so what, 600 ish? Am I doing it wrong? I could be doing it wrong. Wealth from commerce. Um, let's just do the uh, tax harvesting. Now, in the turn, that should hopefully drive our income up, and then hopefully the scorching hot summer in Galatia is over. Why people wish to offer you this gift of- I mean, a peace treaty would be the easy way out, but I just don't want to give it to them. They're just going to attack us at some point in the future. Might as well just take care of business. Is that Parthava that just took some stuff? Yeah, our income just went up a lot. Um, the festival of- Desmophoria uh, offered Greek women the opportunity to praise the fertility goddess Demeter and grieve for the time she left Olympus in search for kidnapped daughter Persephone, abducted by the underworld and fed pomegranate seeds by Hades. Persephone was compelled to return there for several months each year, giving rise to the barren season of winter. Only women could attend. Any man approached paid a heavy price in law. Celebrants would ascend the hill to grieve and wail, ate nothing but pomegranate seeds in Persephone's honor. To amuse and delight Demeter, the women hurled insults at one another. That sounds like fun. Finally, the rotting remains of piglets, which had been placed in pits before the festival. Okay, now this is just weird. Like, sorry. Just, just weird. But hey, enjoy the festival. Knock yourself out, folks. Just knock yourself out. Have a good time. I do want to upgrade all the weapons in Hannibal's army. And let's go ahead and move to the next settlement. We're missing a heavy cavalry from Hannibal's army. 
Archer will take heavy losses even though it said we wouldn't. Yeah, our cavalry and elephants took heavy losses. Everything else was fine. I bet someone made a mod that fixed the mess with the elephants and the cavalry. I wouldn't be shocked. Um... Let's tear that down. Let's put, again, we want this to kind of, oh my food. We have food coming out our nose right now. That's fantastic. That is really good. And we're gonna have more. And the reason I want that is just so we can upgrade the living crap out of everything. I am gonna go ahead and start with the barracks here. I wanna put in some cavalry recruitment and skirmisher recruitment. Our income pop back up some. This fleet is pretty dangerous now if we were able to find unguarded coastal settlements. There's no one to go hit at the moment. Galatians wouldn't have port for me to hit. So let's take a look at this army. We didn't lose any pike units, but they're going to have to recover after that hot Seleucid summer. We cannot get Thurio Spears here, which is frustrating, because that's what I had earlier. And I really like them. We have to head to a different... We got them in a different uh, area. It may have been further over here, because I don't think... Yeah, Iconum is in the same one, so this was in a different province. I might move over here and see if we have better offerings. Ready for battle. Yes, we do. Okay, good. I mean, we keep end up fighting some pretty tough battles here. I'm thinking I'm just going to ditch the hillman. Grab one more Thurial Spear. And then we should grab some heavy infantry because I'm getting tired of you know, dying to these units. And if I'm looking at upkeep, both of these are expensive. But mercenary, mercenary veteran hoplites are... They're tanks. Like, they are some major tanky hoplites, and they have some of the better melee attack for hoplites. Uh, this would make a big difference in this army. It'd be very expensive, um, and the upkeep's going to be expensive, but it makes this army substantially stronger. So, there we go. Let's let some replenishment happen. Then we'll start to move back over, get into a better position. I don't have the money to upgrade their weapons, but we can. Yeah, that took a, that took a chunk out of our income. Eventually, we'll replace these mercenary units, but for now, it'll just have to be all right. I think our income should continue to climb. My allies to retake some of these settlements they're losing. Get back in there and fight, cowards. Look at this. They got armies sitting everywhere. When these guys get away with murder all over the place. Alright, so this army is now stacked up. A march. Here, hey, uh. Gonna try and catch these guys by surprise. We'll see what it looks like down there. And let's end yet another turn. See how we're doing here. be nice to see my satrapies regain a little territory, but I don't know if we're going to see that from them. Bad omens. We're going to lose minus four public order. Turn. We hunger for battle. Go ahead and tank up my mercenaries here. I, again, I know it's incredibly expensive, but these mercenary veteran hoplites give me a heavy infantry advantage that we just don't really have otherwise. Um, against the Galatians, so I want them. And then I'm going to move back over to Ankyra. Commander. And get ready to start pushing towards the Galatians yet again. Let's go ahead and do a weapon upgrade. The units we pulled in. Um... So our political actions helped.
Take a look at something real quick. I'm gonna hit the map here and see what all these guys own. They still own very little. It would be very confined and they don't have control of any of my armies. I'm trying to keep them in check. What other stuff can I do to keep them in check? What other kind of stuff should we be doing? Like, how do you secure their loyalty without just the secure loyalty? Like, do they want to have armies? Do they want to have positions in court? Like, what is it that I give them to get them off my back and get them to leave me alone? Or do we just force them into a fight and go for it? You know what I mean? Like, just, just clean house. Oh crap, we're taking attrition here. <laughs> Let's find a road. I thought we did find a road. You will march till your feet bleed. Okay, now we're on the road again, so we won't take attrition. Alright, good. Um in fact, let's uh move up a little farther just because we can. On the move. Uh they've got a bunch of armies here. But I feel like we can clean them out if we do it properly. Summary, politics, we have... Okay, here it is. Requires action. Uh, after hearing the riddle of Pythia and Delphoi and his wife have decided to pay you a visit, be wise to greet them privately. They could be harbingers of doom. News of the Oracle should be heard by all. Let's do a private audience. See what happens. Right, so we are holding public order rather nicely at the moment. All of Egypt is now under Hannibal's control. We just have the Kush to the south of us here. Some part of me would like to be equipping here. Already got pikemen. This is going to unlock Thorax Pikemen and Thorax Swords and Thurial Spears. So that will be very nice. I don't think we actually need to re-equip anything here. I'm just going to grab my extra uh, Persian Cavalry back. Mercenary Persian Cavalry. <laughs> Can't even talk right now, apparently. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and bounce closer to their border. We need to get on the move. Keep this, keep this war hot and heavy here. We don't want Apache factory here, so let's throw in another farm because why not? And I just wonder if there's anything my fleet can do at the moment. I can't go piss off the Cyrenaikans yet because I'm not ready to fight them. I can't get this fleet into the Red Sea because the Suez Canal doesn't exist, obviously. Um, and I'm not allowed to sail around Cape Horn. Um, not much else I can do with that fleet other than at the moment. I mean, it, it could be a very good defense for us in case we're attacked. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade civil settlements at Antioch. Hey folks, I actually had my game crash um, <laughs> during the turn end. And I had to reload, and now during the turn end, Bactria is declaring war on us. Fantastic. All right, well, I'm going to pull off my attack at Gerhaya, uh, because I, I know these guys are going to betray me. That's fine, but um, with Bactria declaring war on me, we've we've got my bigger Lord fish to fry. To no, you're not getting a peace treaty. I'm going to come take my land back on my way to Bactria. So I need to get Antiochus to win the fight with the Galatians, because I'm going to need his help. Um, definitely gonna need his help. I'm gonna come up here and get on the road. We'll take a little bit of attrition, maybe. Come through the desert there? No, not bad. Alright, just make sure you stay on the road. I'm gonna move up here to Cherax and go help my... Go help my satrapies. And... I'm gonna march closer to Amasia. And see if this time maybe we can take out the Galatians. Then Hannibal can now move closer to Ptolemaeus Theron. Alright. So that is good. 
Uh, buildings wise, I want this. Um, let's turn this in. I need some some real cavalry for Hannibal. Be very helpful, and I'm about to be able to build it at the Satrap Stables, which should unlock much better cavalry for us. Um, we need our own shock cavalry that is not mercenary variants, because the mercenary variants cost too much. Let's go ahead and end another turn here. Alright, so Bactria is on our borders. The Galatians do already have a whole other spam army of Levy Freeman and Celtic Slingers. We can win a halfway decent victory here, though, and I think we can. As the addition of my extra heavy infantry. We can uh, go ahead and push through and finish the Galatians and then head to help our satrapies with Antiochus because Asia Minor will be relatively secure at that point. All right. I want Lurio Spears on one flank of my pikes. Want my mercenary hoplites on the other flank. Since my Thurio Spears are a little more independent, I'm going to put my Peltus to support the hoplites because they're a little slower. Persian archers in front of the main line. And then we're going to put some elephants and shock cavalry behind both flanks. There we go. Persian archers. I would like you to stay in a guard mode. All right, so there be the Galatians right in front of me. If we are victorious and live, we're going to live. Come on, King. Let's give a better speech than that. We're going to live. All right, enemy is approaching. The reinforcements are coming from behind them. There's more than I would like, but they're mostly trash other than the generals. Shift to my right a little. Let's get back in position and have our archers open fire. I'm going to put one volley out with my archers and then switch to whistling shot. I want to see if we can weaken up the enemy melee. Whistling shot has a slower reload time. Get some whistling shots off. How did we hit ourselves with whistling shot? Archers! Maybe we can get a little bit more whistling shot off here. Let's see. One more, one more, one more. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that'll keep the effect. I'm gonna retreat and turn off whistling shot. I'm move my heavy infantry forward. I'm gonna go crush this light cavalry with my armored elephants. My pikes are in a nice defensive line. Alright, what's where's my oh, it's because he's attacking the Celtic light horse, that's fine. Up on this flank, All right? We murdered those archers. Let's go for the next slinger unit. Our mercenary veteran hoplites are going to be extremely tanky units. I'm going to fix these noble horse with the mercenary veteran hoplites, and I'm going to try and beeline straight into this flank with my elephants. I'm going to try and get a few javelins to soften these noble horsemen up. I'm going to turn off formation attack, and I'm going to actually go into a hoplite lengths here just to make my guys hold longer. I'm going to turn off formation attack here. Let those guys sling the javelins. Alright, here comes the, what is hopefully a very brutal charge for my elephants. We're going to use the stampede. Celtic light horse got smashed. Celtic noble horse is charging our Thurio spears now. They can't brace while they're trying to get a square formation formed. Those guys took some Nasty, nasty shots there. Now we've got them right where we want them. All right, elephants got into this flank. Just keep pushing in. I'm gonna try and just 
like I said, I'm gonna just try and beeline straight through the enemy lines here. These elephants already have 183 kills. That's very good. Got into the square formation with my Thurios spears just in time. Let's tip the play. General is dead. Good news. Good news for us. No, I don't want you all throwing into that. All right, our mercenary veteran hoplites are owning over here. All right, archers, let's... Ah, uh -uh, not towards my elephants. Pull our elephants back through the line. Actually, let's swing here. And let's melee charge with my peltist. Right, that noble horse got owned. I'm gonna pull my elephants back from the missile fire that they're getting hit with right now. Oh man, we are wrapping these guys up hard. Hard, hard. Right here's your rear charge. Let's inspire. Stampede. Fall back. That noble horse got smoked. Get out of there, because we got javelins incoming. Get, get, get. Before we get berserked. Go. Dang it. Well, the good news is, is my elephants to berserk have a few Galatians to kill as well. Oh my gosh, same thing here. Get out, get out, get out. We somehow got savaged with that Persian cavalry, so let's... Must have taken a couple of javelin volleys. Alright, well, our elephants are berserking, but... They are killing a lot of Celts in the process. So, fair trade. I'm gonna take, uh, take Antiochus back in for another run. That was actually a pretty solid victory for us. Oh, no, 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 careful! Kill a bunch of our own elephants. Wow, okay, well that was a pretty effective fight for us. Our One army our is still mostly intact. Yeah! That is definitely what we needed there. Oh my goodness, those elephants got some kills. 860. Look at our mercenary veteran hoplites, man. These guys were owning. They were good. Celts had no answer to that. Like, way too much armor and melee defense. None of their units on that battlefield, short of if they had brought both sworn generals, would have had any chance there. Yeah, they took massive damage. So they're going to be pushed back. We're going to replenish, and then we're going to push forward. See if we can end the war with the Galatians once and for all here. Their king. And then hopefully be in a position to go deal with the massive satrapy meltdown. But the good thing is, is we have Hannibal still too. And Hannibal can help keep us in good shapes uh, moving forward on the front lines resolution. So we can... Got an assassination plot. Jail the suspect. Just hire bodyguards. Alright, so we finished our research. This is good news. The town blacksmith here. Alright. Army got some good replenishing done. This was the main Galatian army that we were facing. Look, they've got all their generals back because I kill their generals every time. Like, we're killing their characters every time we play. I don't really want to play this, but I'm going to do it because the auto-resolve is going to screw me over. And I've got to fight this manually to keep that from happening. This is not a good terrain for our elephants. For our Persian light archers. Let's see here. Let's wait for... We don't want the fog. Yeah, I don't like that the Galatians are going to get a bunch of cover. I'm going to take the same deployment. Heavy hoplites on the right flank. Supported by Peltist. I love the combo of Peltist and hoplites. They, that way, like, when, you know, when cavalry was running around like it was, our, um, our Peltus can get shots at it, the Hoplites can finish it, and that heavy cavalry just doesn't stand a chance of 
being effective. Let's push up and kill the Galatians. Enemy Go take their final control. settlement in this war and get our king eastward bound. So our king will move eastward in the traditional direction of Alexander's legacy. And Hannibal will move westward in order to get Alexander's new legacy. Which I think would be quite fun. Since they're going to be a little bit tired by the time we get on station. Uh, it'll be all right. It shouldn't be too worn out. My heaviest infantry is a bit tired. All right, see this uh, this noble cavalry pushing this flank. We're gonna we're gonna give them a thorough spear welcome. And then I want my freaking hate that I can't see through the trees here. Let's see if the graphics option will allow me to do anything about this advanced options. Aid units. Distortion effects, hide foliage, all right. Okay. Some javelins into them. Let's wish them a merry javelin date. Our hidden units have been discovered. Protests! Advance at speed! Spearmen at the ready. Right, their heavy cavalry is trying to set up for a flank charge. I'm gonna put a javelin volley into them. Keep my hoplites braced so that they'll just be running into a wall. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna crush the noble horse over there. Mercenary veteran hoplites charge. Thurio spears are getting some nice flank javelins going here. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Right, this noble horse general is putting up a pretty solid fight, but shouldn't win over here. My elephants are pursuing this one. We're out of formation attack. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Yep, our general's just tanking through this. Our Persian cavalry got a little bit mopped up there in the prolonged melee, which is not a surprise. The um, noble horse is far superior in a prolonged melee engagement against my Persian horse. It's just the Persian horse hits hard on the charge, but noble cavalry hits hard on the charge as well. Like, absolutely no doubt. Like, it, it also hits hard. Noble cavalry is some tough stuff. Elephants! My elephants are just so well armored, though, that it's, it's a little more difficult for even anti-large cavalry to do a lot of dead. good damage. I'm gonna try and put some shots into the uh, general here. Out of formation attack. Attack my Peltist. Yeah, these mercenary veteran hoplites are proving very valuable for this type of engagement. They're extremely capable anti-cav, and they can hold out in any infantry fight for a pretty good while. Spears! The ray of spear! Heavy pikemen! Ready and waiting. Orders! Awaiting orders! Operatives! Have all the orders! Alright, clean that up. Armored elephants! Elephants! It's the ready! Just have to clean up their Celtic slingers. Cleaned all that up. And army losses. There we go. So it is done. Antiochus has cleaned up the Galatians. 
We must have had like some type of Viagra breeding farm back here in order to recruit this many units from that small settlement. But uh, the addition of the mercenary veteran hoplites totally tilted this army against the Galatians. Um, they don't have any answer to that right now. Like I said, a, a, I don't remember what the Galatians call their heavy sword unit. I don't think it's the Osworn. I think it has a different name. Um, but their heavy sword unit could certainly cut through a mercenary veteran hoplite, but none of the rest of their infantry is going to do well there. Not, not anything that they're fielding at the moment, at least. At once. With such a small settlement as their only remaining option. I'm going to go ahead and auto-resolve this one. Even though it's going to kill some of my elephants, I just want this done. And I want to be able to end the episode with a plus here, in terms of cutting Galatia out. Could subjugate them, but we will not be doing so. We're going to occupy their territory and extinct their faction. Um, so that is final straw for the Galatians. All right, folks. Well, it was a good episode. We've got... Um, ooh, this takes us up to a Royal Stables, which I would like to have a Royal Stables. Ship Ram would be good as well. Satrap's Great Palace, Goldsmith. Um, let's go ahead and look at the ship's rams. Like I said, so good good episode. Um, I think we finish it, we can actually come down here and take Ptolemaeus Theron too. It might kill another one of my Persian cavalry units because the autoresolve just likes doing that. Love the nut kick there by Hannibal. Oh, we didn't lose it. Thank goodness. All right, so a good way to finish. More territory taken. Our enemies are in bad shape, um, at least the ones that we were fighting at the moment, and that leaves us ready to march. Okay, uh, Cherax is still in the hands of an enemy faction here. I'm going to move up, and I'm going to enter an ambush stance just so that they can't see me here, and hopefully we can get a surprise attack on Cherax. It's not a walled settlement, so I should be able to get into Cherax and start pushing back some of these armies that are attacking our satrapies and try and calm things down back east. But, I mean, you can see on the map here, our empire is shaping up nicely. It is shaping up nicely. We're, we're taking control of a great deal of territory here and starting to rebuild ha uh, Alexander's legacy. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this one. Heir of Carthage is signing out for now. I will see you soon with some more action. Total War Rome 2, and as I mentioned, please, if you're enjoying this, get in there and support. Leave those comments, leave the likes, interact, tell your friends, share it, everything you can do. Like I said, if you all keep doing this amazing job you're doing, I'll turn right around after this and we'll do another Rome 2 campaign. And if you keep it, we'll just keep it going. As long as you're going to support it and enjoy it and treat it this way, I will absolutely do the right thing by you and keep it coming for as long as you want it. Anyway, Air of Carthage signing out for now. I will see you soon.